Alrighty. I had to put this one on YouTube. I, I can't pass this one up. So I was playing Essen. Come on, come on. There we are. So I decided to play on my uh, torpedo bomber a little bit here. And I like to, uh, if I'm bombing ground targets, I actually like to take off from the airstrip. So I can go in more or less tree level. Dr. Sexy crashed. No, that wasn't Dr. Sexy. Uh, that was the other guy. Anyway, he crashed on takeoff. I don't know why. He tried to climb up and do. And I got two 500 pound bombs and six 100 pounders. Sometimes the 600 pounders will take out like a light tank and stuff. Now, on this one, we got landing craft. And we got a bridge, but I don't think we got vehicles on this side. Oh, I guess we do got vehicles on this side of the bridge. So if I can get across the bridge, that'll help. So to start with, game's a little bit boring there. Let's see, it looks like they got everybody in except one. And we got everybody in except one. Now, uh, what I don't like about this plane is compared to the B-5N, the Kate, the Kate, they put, give you a little ground bombing reticle. Even on realistic, they give you a little ground bombing reticle. On this plane, they don't. So you really got to guess the bombs. Okay, they got an HE-111 up there. He's way up high. He's not a problem. We got these MC-202s. Uh, so far, it don't look like anybody's uh, aced out or wallet warriors. Looks like they had somebody crash on takeoff already or get shot down, one of the two. I could close this. I'll close this mini-map. We don't really need the mini-map for this. And probably don't really need the chat. So we got one, from what I can tell, like three. Let's see, they got at least two. They got two 202s. Three 202s. Oh, they got a, uh, he's a 200, not a 202. But anyway, they got three Italian fighter aircraft. Okay, I took out an artillery piece. Then I started getting AA up the butt. I took out an AA. Then I come over here with all this condensation. Maybe I should keep that on. No, you can't really can't see it. But anyways, so far nobody was bothering me too much. Now there's uh, two Stukas over here. Now what I do like about this plane is it does have 150 cal on the front of it, so you can at least try to shoot somebody. So I just drop these bombs just to drop them to. And I took out another AA or something, even though I wasted all those little 100-pound bombs. But I didn't want to stay around this area and get my butt shot up all day. So I started heading over here. There's one fighter engaged with these with this uh, Hittle SS here. And there's two 87s over here circling around. I think they were trying to set up bomb runs. They're shooting. They got the big guns. They're shooting the ground targets. So I come over see if I can help power tank out in this P-40 because he's got this uh, MC-202 all over him. And the graphics seem more realistic. These planes aren't hauling butt, or probably because they're level one planes too. So I come in behind this uh, Stuka. 
see if I could shoot some rounds into him. And I critted him. And he hit the top of a roof. I don't know if he took out his engine or what. So I got one kill. I was pretty happy about that. And then he's actually trying to shoot me from, with his rear gunner from the ground. And the Stuke is climbing, but I was losing airspeed. So I come around and this 202 is still chasing around this P-40. So I seen if I could come and get an angle on this guy. And I was losing power again. So I come back around and here's this Stuka climbing. And stalling. So I started to see if I could put some around in him rounds in him. In the meantime, I think this 202 was coming around on my tail. Actually, he's still pretty low though. But yeah, he's he's trying to shoot me. So my rear gunner starts shooting at him while I'm shooting at this uh, 87. I even think maybe he might have hit the 87. The 87's rear gunner's shooting at me. And I got, uh, I come around, this guy flew right in front of me. 87's out there a ways, so I dived around and seen if I could, uh, I put my flaps in combat, I think, or maybe in a minute here. And the 87 was getting some angle on me, but he didn't crit me. So I kept sticking around, uh, turning circles with this uh, 202. just a little faster. But he kept trying to do the S turn on me. So I kept trying to see if I could line up a shot. Let him fly in front of it. Oh, and I brushed the tree. And he crashed, so I got credit for killing two. And then the 87's behind me. I'm turning into him. He popped some rounds at me. I kind of dived at him. At this point, I do have a few holes in the wings, but I haven't got critted yet. So, I rolled back around, and he's trying to do the climb off on me. I got had to be a little patient. His rear gunner shooting some rounds at me. And then I ran out of bullets, and I thought about ramming him, but I'm glad I missed him. I think I was out of bullets at that point. But I did hit him, and he hit a tree. So I got credit for three. Three kills, and they got two guys left. We got. Four guys left. So I decided to head for home. Uh, you can't see it, but my my uh, oil pressure was quite up high at this point. <laughs> so I was pretty happy with that. I got three aerial kills, even though they were mostly because these guys uh, hit hit trees and houses and stuff. But I'll take it. <laughs> and I got three ground bombs. Bye-bye. 
So I'm hauling butt along, and this plane is really picky on landing too. You really got to slow it down to land. You can't you can't pop your flaps down at 250 like you can on a Kate. Although I, you know, I figured these are fairly sturdy birds, but they're not quite as sturdy as a Dauntless. And they're big. They're a huge. They're a huge airplane. Three guys in them, and that windshield sticking up uh, like eight inches over the pilot's head. So I started slowing down here, and I started putting down gears and flaps, and it immediately warned me to put it right back up. So I really had to. I really had to cut the engine to zero, and. I think you notice I put the flaps right back up and I put the gear right back up because it was hollering at me and I didn't want to lose the landing gear. And I finally got it slowed down enough that I could get the gear and the landing flaps down. These feel a little bit heavier than the Kate too. The Kate, the Kate, you can come in 300 kilometers an hour, turn the engine off, uh, bring the nose up a little bit, slow it down super quickly. Then you put your uh, landing flaps down and then you almost have to speed it right back up to 100% uh, and it just it's almost like landing a helicopter it just damn near hovers this plane a little bit like that but it still has a heavier feel to it it drops pretty fast you start cutting the engine quite a bit and you almost have to speed it up a little bit you got to get it real close to the ground before you cut all your power or you end up yeah and that looked pretty smooth, but it was actually that wasn't that much of a smooth landing. That was pretty much a drop. And this guy here, I think he just lost his landing gear trying to land at 400 kilometers an hour. So I think he's going to belly land it. Or does he go up? Yeah, maybe he had his gear, but I think he decided to go around. quick ZM yeah he lost a wheel that's pretty funny because he was going so fast and back down to me so at this point I was telling him hey let's go let's go finish this they couldn't find the guys that was out there dr. sexy was way out there or whatever they couldn't find him because there was only two of them left and they were kind of hiding but I figured that DO-17 would go back up to try to bomb ground units. And they're still winning because they're holding the bases. Which actually wouldn't be a problem over time because I think the tanks would at least take over one or maybe two zones. Alrighty. So now I'm thinking there's two guys. Maybe I can get a fourth kill on this nothing else. I can bomb a couple of these get some more ground units. And we can shut these guys off. So the mission is now we're going to see if we can go find these guys. Or I got three fighters with me. So well, actually, there's two on the field, but they'll, they'll be coming up shortly, I'm pretty sure. Dr. Sexy's out here heading out here looking for if he can find either one of these guys. And we didn't know it at the time. One, Well, I kind of knew the one was in a DO-17, and then the other one, I wasn't sure what he was in, but he's in an MC-200. But when you're, in, you're actually in the battle, it won't show you that, other than, you know, seeing it on their name and stuff. You can remember their name, but I, I didn't know what these guys were in, so... I'm just thinking, hey, I did pretty good though. So, go over see if I can bomb some more stuff here. Get some more ground units, tanks, artillery. And here comes the buffalo. And at this guy point, this guy was talking about engaging one of these guys. I still couldn't see him yet. Now you can see him. He just came into view. So they're up there doing a high altitude dogfight. 
So I figure I come down lower here in a minute so I can come in on a bombing run because since he's up high for one and then I can either draw him down. And so he's in the MC200. Him against the Spitfire. And I got a hurricane five kilometers behind me and the buffalo coming right above me. And I was getting messages. Uh, I didn't see him yet, but this guy, you can notice he's right over here by sea. I didn't see him yet. He's in the DO2, the DO17. I'm going to come down here to come on a bomb run. Now here comes this buffalo. He decides to do some ground killing. And he flies right down on my flight path. So what I didn't do is I, I waited till it cleared to drop a bomb. I just basically dropped all of them. And I got one ground unit for all that payload. But that was alright because... All we gotta do is kill these two guys. He's still out there trying to do ground kills, which is real stupid over in that area. Really surprised he didn't get shot down by the AA. And I've turned and I've noticed here's this DO-17 and he's a kilometer and a half out. If I get up on him, I could probably put some bullets in him. If the hurricane's coming down on him. And that's ground units shooting at me. And he smoked him. So I couldn't get in on an assist or if he would have missed him then I would have tried to get in there and shoot him. What I like sometimes about dogfighting in a torpedo plane or a dive bomber is you can usually uh, you can fly a little bit slower. Kind of. You can kind of control the aim a little better. Unless the guy in the plane in front of you is just so erratic. Yeah, and this AA is just... Was, I'm really shocked I didn't get smoked by the AA. So, Dr. Sexy's out here still with this guy. They've been dogfighting for like four or five minutes now. So they must have really been conserving ammo and really doing some maneuvers here because ain't neither one of them smoking or... I don't know how bad they're damaged or not, but it don't seem like either one of them's damaged too much. But I come around on here. This guy's an expert. And I ended up clipping him a couple times here. I had to watch, see how he was pretty smart. He comes down low. He was trying to let me fly in front of him, but I was smart enough not to fly in front of him. Now he's trying to loop around to get behind me, which is funny because Dr. Sexy's on his hind end. And here comes the hurricane to help out. So he's tangled up with three of us. And you see how tight I can turn in this slow, and I clips him there. And I got an assist for that. Because Dr. Sexy had already probably filled him full of pretty good holes. So they're out of vehicles now. So all we got to do now is wait for the red timer to go down and he looks like he didn't even get hit he's got some holes that's probably from AA he don't look like he was hit so now we're just waiting for the countdown but yeah I thought I'd put this one on YouTube <laughs> So I hope you guys appreciate it. Yeah, and then we look at the stats. I was number two in the game on our team. Yeah, Dr. Sexy had three kills. I had three, ZM had two. And that was all the game kills anybody had. And then I had the four ground units. So, and I come in number two. Dr. Sexy probably was more, oh, he had just a few more points. So that made him number one. So I almost got number one on that, so. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. I don't want to review replay again. And peace out.